Guys, subscribe and turn notifications on, leave a like and drop a comment down below. Get here first and win giveaway codes I will pin as first comment on some of my videos. Be fast and good luck. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you news and info regarding the raid. I am Banner, how to get the Crucible class item and much more. But before we get into the video guys, if you are enjoying the content, leaving a like really helps out and if you are new around here, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the raid is here later today and going off Bungie's latest D2 weekly update, they talk about this raid, what rewards will be available, the world's first reward and the 24 hour completion rewards. So many, many rewards, so much loot to obtain, why well, can't wait for it. So they first state the completion of the raid is not even the end cap of what the Dream City has to offer. There are many more mysteries to uncover once the final boss has been slain. That to me is interesting. I think we might actually see a raid vendor or something once completed. This raid vendor will pop up much like Benedict offering much more than just your everyday bounties and loot. But we will see people we will see. The team who gets worlds first are guaranteed the 1000 voices exotic people. The raid exclusive exotic. Now there is a chance this thing can drop uh, even if you don't get worlds first but I'm guessing it's only from the main encounter but it is only guaranteed to the worlds first which won't be me. Bunch of state if you think you have finished first make sure you loot the final chest to ensure both rewards. After that return to orbit to finish the activity. In addition to worlds first if you complete the raid within 24 hours of release you get an amazing looking emblem called the wish ascended and also if you complete the raid before the 18th of september reset day you get access to a personalized last wish jacket which looks cool I'm not gonna lie bungee state there are many more secrets to uncover in the raid and ways to showcase your accomplishments to other guardians in destiny 2. man oh man i cannot wait but yeah, the main news here is the 1000 Voices Fusion Exotic is confirmed to be raid exclusive and is a guaranteed drop to the world's first. And then it only drops as a chance to everybody else after that. Moving on people and Saladin is back and he brings beautiful loot. He comes back Tuesday the 18th of September and goes Tuesday 25th of September the week later. The game mode is Control. The original Iron Lord will also be offering armor for direct purchase as well as two weapons with unique roles per event. You can gain access to purchase these items by completing their associated bounties. If you have tokens left over from Season 3, these may be redeemed in Season 4 for reputation packages. As with bounties, all Iron Banner themed weapons and armor will be earned through reputation packages from Lord Saladin. Cool! And post-match drops are also returning to Iron Banner. Both Crucible and Iron Banner rewards will drop at match completion. That's epic as well, people. And don't forget now with Iron Banner, power level does matter. So if you're rocking 550 plus and you're going against people under 500, I think you're probably going to have a slight advantage here. Coming along with Iron Banner, people, on the 18th of September, a reprised Crucible map will become available. This map will be instantly available in Crucible playlists for all D2 players. Now I wonder what this map will be, here is me hoping it's either Widow's Court or Firebase Delphi. What map would you like to see return from Destiny 1? Let me know down below in that comment section. They said they're going to reveal the map on Monday so we will see. And that's it from the weekly update guys, if you want to read through it all, you'll find it linked within the video description. Next up is a known issue with the Crucible class item. Now as soon as I got into D2's Forsaken DLC, I spent over 1000 Crucible tokens. I got all armor pieces, but I didn't get the class item on my Hunter. Played PvP constantly after that, still didn't get it. Ranked up a few times, still didn't get it. No class item at all. Here's the funny thing though, I started my Titan, my first PvP game, I got the class item. Talk about banging my head against the wall. Now a little birdie told me that to get the class item or your best chance of getting this class item is by playing PvP and getting ranked up past that fabled rank. Then go to shacks and open packages. Now after I initially spent 1000 crucible tokens I was told numerous times that class items do not drop from crucible packages and only drops as an end of game reward from a crucible match. That is absolutely false. I, after hitting Fabled, opened a few packages as you'll see on the screen now and I got the class item. So this worked for me guys, so try it out if you're struggling to get that class item. Now I don't know whether this was bugged or whatever, maybe they fixed it within the hot fixes we've received over the past few days, I don't know. But I got mine a few packages after hitting Fabled, 
Whereas before Fabled, I opened what seemed like hundreds of packages and had no luck. So if you need a cast item people, try this out. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, it really does help me out. If you're new out here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.